Yeah. All right, we're going to now. All right, we're going to stop. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, what's All right. Um all right, so here's the heart, right? Yeah. Starting, what's this diagonal coming across the front of the heart? Yeah, right there. Pulmonary trunk. Pulmonary trunk. All right. Behind the pulmonary trunk is where you see, oh, I broke your left atrium off again. All right, behind the pulmonary trunk is where you see the aorta. All right. The aorta, the little bit that comes up is the ascending aorta, and then it goes to the left, it curves, it's the aortic arch, and then it'll dive down and come the descending aorta. All right. There's two, in the pig, there's two branches off the aortic arch. There's the brachiocephalic trunk, and then there's the left subclavian artery. In humans, different, right? It's the brachiocephalic and the left common carotid and the left subclavian. There's three off a human heart. All right, so off the aortic arch, you have these two branches. One right there is the brachiocephalic trunk, and that one next to it right there is the left subclavian. Follow the left subclavian up, it's kind of hard to see here, but it would go past the ribs. Once it goes past the ribs, it becomes the axillary artery. All right? Here we're following the brachiocephalic up, that other branch, to the right of the left subclavian. And if you follow that up, it actually is going to become the right subclavian, which you could see it comes this way, right? Once it, the right subclavian passes through the ribs, so here's the ribs. Once you get to this side of the ribs, it's the axillary, all right? If you follow the other branches off the brachiocephalic trunk, if you go up under, that branches into your left and right carotid. So here's your right carotid artery, right here, this pink one, all right? And that's all your arteries above the heart that you guys have to know. All right, how about the veins above the heart? Veins above the heart. Now remember, veins merge. So I'm going to start from the top and come down to the heart, right? Right running next to the common carotid artery is the internal jugular vein. They run parallel, all right? And that's draining more deep areas of your head. Out further, this thicker one is your external jugular vein, and that drains areas that are more superficial of the head. And then you have this vein over here. It would be your axillary vein over here. And when it goes in front of the ribs, it's your subclavian vein. Together, the internal jugular, the external jugular, and the subclavian veins drain into the brachiocephalic. So this little part of this Y right here, that's the right brachiocephalic vein and the left brachiocephalic vein. Those two merge together and become the superior vena cava, which dumps into the right atrium. All right? All right, take a shot. Up. That's, the, up, that's the above the heart stuff. I'm taking a break. Yeah, that's good. Make two separate.